Hello Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. Today we're going to talk about a book called She Died Famous by Kyle Rutkin. This is a kind of mystery thriller book about um, a girl who was found dead. She was this really popular actress, like a childhood actress. Then she disappeared from the limelight, came back, kind of tried to make like an edgy comeback for herself, and is found dead at her mansion. And then you come to find out that her boyfriend is a suspect in this whole situation. The What's really interesting about this is that it is told part ways through like news articles and um, online web interviews and of that nature and then narration as well. So you see it from the point of view of the boyfriend mostly and it is kind of a weird dark probably darker than I would have liked book. The premise seemed super interesting to me, but as I was reading this book, I felt like I didn't really know what was happening. Uh, there was a manipulation that happens to the characters by certain, by different people. Um, and what I mean by that is people have a lot of ulterior motives in this book and you can never quite figure out what is going on in these people's heads. The narrator was very unreliable and all of these things put together made it very hard for me to know who to root for in this book. Who did I really care about like coming out? Like did I want, like did the boyfriend do it? And if he did do it, would I be happy that he got caught? Like. Those were the questions I was asking and I, I kind of, it was kind of off-putting to me that it was as dark as it was. <laughs> that I just, I, I wasn't prepared for it. It was told in a really interesting way. I, I, when you say manipulated, I just kind of, I don't know where to go with that. <laughs> that was the one thing that I picked that was manipulated. And then my brain phased out because I was thinking of something. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of the Mandela effect. So it, in being so dark, it, you just couldn't handle like how how dark it got or... No, like the darkness, it, like it being kind of dark wasn't really what turned me off about the book. I think it was just more like how it was written because you you would get information about one character and you would see what their viewpoint was and then it seemed like they did something that was completely like backwards from what okay. you learned about them so it was like a very flip-flop thing and the entire book was written kind of just to put you on edge kind of make you uneasy about what is happening but like at the same time you can't put it down because you're like okay dude how the heck did she die and when you finally figure out how she died it's just not what you expect, I don't think. Um, okay. So, you know, in that way, I should say, you know, I felt like I would have liked it a lot more if I saw, if I wasn't so off-put by the book, I think it's itself. Like, I would have thought, oh yeah, this is really well written, and it would, I would have been, like, all about it. But because I was not sure how to approach the book, I, I just didn't, I okay. couldn't feel connected to the book. Gotcha. Um, I ended up giving it three stars, because I just, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Um, however, if you like thrillers and you don't really mind this like weird vibe in your books, this book is probably for you. Okay. Um, I just like to feel like even though there might be creepy elements, I like to feel like I understand the main character and I know where the main character is going and and I get it. <laughs> you know, but in this book I did not. That is very important for you to be able to actually connect with the characters. Yeah, because exactly. if you can't do it, it doesn't matter how interesting the story right, is. exactly. Uh, so that is my review of She Died Famous. All the information is down below. And until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.